classification of robots based on control system. Non-servo control or open loop control. It does not have feedback. It is deterministic, implemented by setting limits or mechanical stops for each joint and sequencing the actuation of each joint to accomplish the cycle end point robot. It is used in limited sequence robot. No control over the motion at the intermediate points, only end points are known. Programming accomplished by setting desired sequence of moves, adjusting end stops for each axis. Accordingly, the sequence of moves is controlled by a sequencer, which uses feedback received from the end stops to index to next step in the program. Servo control, feedback control. Closed loop control is used to monitor the position, velocity, other variables of each joint by utilizing feedback mechanism. Point to point control. Also known as playback with point to point control, records work cycle as a sequence of points, then plays back the sequence during program execution. Only the endpoints are programmed. The path used to connect the endpoints are computed by the controller. User can control velocity and may permit linear or piecewise linear motion. Feedback control is used during motion to ascertain that individual joints have achieved desired location. Often used hydraulic drives, recent trend towards servo motors, loads up to 2,500 newtons and large reach. Applications, pick and place type operations, palletizing, machine loading. Continuous path control. It's also known as playback with continuous path control. In addition to the control over the endpoints, the path taken by the end effector can be controlled. Path is controlled by manipulating the joints throughout the entire motion via closed loop control. Greater memory capacity and or interpolation capability to execute paths in addition to points. This type of control is essential for arc welding and spray painting robots, etc. Intelligent control. A robot working under intelligent control exhibits behavior that makes it seem intelligent. Example, responds to sensor inputs makes decisions, communicates with humans, etc.